Hello everyone. Today we're doing the Mathematics 2020 Math Paper 1, Question 2. Right. Okay, uh, Question 2.1. Uh, we are given 7xy minus 11, and we are told that this is an arithmetic sequence. Uh, determine the values of x and y. Uh, it's pretty simple. We know that an arithmetic sequence has a order difference of a one order difference. So, in other words, we have 7, and then we have x, y, and minus 11. The difference to get us from 7 to x and then from x to y is the same so we can call this a d for difference and then of course it's the same going from y to minus 11 okay so there's a few ways to solve this question um one way would be um you know, to calculate D, you can set, you can set up as uh, D equals to X minus 7, but, oops, uh, minus 7, and then we can also say that D is equal to um, Y minus X, and then equate this to, and then solve simultaneously. Uh, I guess if you feel comfortable doing it that way, you're more than welcome. Um... But uh, the much more simpler way is for that we can do, we can say that we know that um, our first term is a or seven. So we can say that uh, our first term uh, plus three of our differences equals 12. Fourth term because that makes sense. So we're gonna take our first term, add one difference, add one difference, add one difference, and it gets to. And the only reason we're doing this is because we have the first term and we have the fourth term, so we know how many differences there are. So, um, which will be our fourth term, which I guess we could just say as minus 11. So, our first term is 7 plus 3 differences equals to minus 11 this isn't just simply a uh, an equation with one unknown so this will become 3d equals to minus 11 minus 7 gives us minus 18 and then therefore our difference is equal to minus 18 divided by 3 which is we left with minus 6 and that's it well, <laughs> that's, that's the first one, getting our difference, our D. So if we see that our first term is 7, we then get a minus 6, and then this our x value should then should be, sorry, that's right, so we can understand, it's going to be 7 plus our difference, which in this case is minus 6. So therefore, x is equal to 1. And then we can do the same for y. It will be equal to our previous term. You could even do, you, know, you, can, you can do it both ways. You can say 7 uh, plus 2 difference, which is minus 6, equals to uh, 2 times 1, that's minus 12. Minus 12 plus 7 is minus 5. You can do it that way, or you could do it as y equals to, since you know what the x value is, which is 1, you can say 1 minus 1 difference, or add 1 difference, would be minus 6, which equals to minus 5. There we go. So we answered our question, determine the value of x and y. x value is 1, uh, y value is minus 5. Okay, next up we have 2.2. Uh, uh, given the quadratic number pattern, minus 3, 6, 27, 60. Uh, so you can see that this numbers are ramping up pretty quickly, the sequence of numbers. And um, yeah, I think even before we get to the first uh, question, we can make this a little easier for us. So we know when we have a quadratic um, pattern, 
we will have a second order difference. So this would be what was given to us. And then to go from minus three to six, um, we will add nine. Simple, and then to go from 6 to 27 we will add 21 and then to go from 27 to 60 we will add 33 okay and now to go from 9 to 21 uh, this will be 12 obviously because 21 minus 9 is 12, and then this will be the same thing because we know it's quadratic. So 30, and we can check it. So we can say 33 minus 21 is 12, and this pattern continues as we go on. So doing that ground uh, lays so much groundwork for the questions that we didn't even get to the first question. Okay, so it says determine the general term of the pattern in the form of tn equals to an squared plus bn plus c. So what we're going to do, we're just going to get the values of A, B, and C. And we should be very familiar with this. So to get the value of A, we will take our second order different value. Uh, so we will say that 2A, which is that value there, is equal to our second order difference, which is 12. And then therefore we divide this by 2. So A equals to 6. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, to get our B value, we will say that 3A uh, plus B equals to this term over here. This is our first, first order difference value, which is 9 in this case. So it's 9. Um, we know what A is from our previous um, solving. So it becomes 3 then we put our a value in, which is 6, plus b equals to 9. Uh, we can then multiply this out and take it over. So we will be left with b equals to 9. Uh, 3 times 6 is 18. Take the 18 over. It becomes minus 18, which is then equal to negative 9. All right. That is our... B value, we will then get our C value by using our identity, I guess it's called. We will take A plus B plus C equals to our first term, which in this case is minus 3. And then we, we add the value of A and B, so we can substitute that in, that becomes 6 plus minus 9 plus c equals to minus 3, minus 3, and then 6 plus minus 9 is minus 3, so it's minus 3, all right, so I'm just take it over straight away, so then c equals to minus 3, and then we take the minus 3 over, so it becomes plus 3, which equals to 0. And now we have our a, b, and c value, so we can substitute this into our get our formula. So it becomes t of n is equal to our a value, which is 6, n squared, plus our b value, oops, which is a negative, so we can just write it as negative 9 n plus 0, or we can just leave it out. And that's your answer. And that's your answer. So that's pretty much it. Next question, uh, I guess we're going to leave this up because we're going to use it. So it says uh, calculate the 50th term of the, of the pattern. So we will then use our formula that we just calculated. So that will be T of 50. So that's our 50th term. It's equal to 60. Oh, not 60, not bad. It's equal to 6. And we substitute the 50 in. We replace it. Wherever we see the N, we replace that with what we are putting in. In this case, it's 50. Squared minus 9 times 50 
and then you would type this all in your calculator which will give you a value of one four five five zero easier that so you would get one mark for the substitution and one mark for your answer easy to so then we have 2.2.3 it says show that the sum of the first in first differences of this pattern can be given by s of n equals to 6n squared plus 3n so that sounds a lot but it's, it's really basic so it's just saying that we're going to look at our our first order of differences you know which is um 9 21 and 33 because they are the, the difference in our pattern so in this case it's 9 21 and 33 so let's just write that out so i don't have to keep looking at it and then so we would calculate our formula the same way we would do an arithmetic um pattern i hope that makes sense Okay, so what we would do, we would do it as normal. So we would take our first term, which in this case is nine. You know, so we say a equals nine, and then we need to get our differences. But we we, we know the difference because we we did it as well. So to get from from nine to twenty one, it's twelve, and then of course uh, to get to thirty three from twenty one is twelve as well. So that means our difference is equal to twelve. And then we will use our formula that's given to us on our formula sheet of S of N, which is equal to N divided by 2 uh, into 2A um, plus open bracket N minus 1, and then our difference, close bracket. All right? And as you can see, we have our A value, we have our D value. We can then um, put those into our S of N. So of course we don't have N because N is like the, the term we put in. And then we have two of A, A is nine, plus our N value, which of course is what we're expecting. And our difference of 12, uh, we then simplify so S so s of n is equal to n divided by 2 so okay we'll sort that out soon and then we multiply 2 by 9 which is 18 plus multiply 12 in it becomes 12 in minus 12 multiplied by minus 1 becomes 12 we then add like terms so it's s of n equals to uh yeah let's just take it one step at a time and then this becomes uh, 12n, only one of the n. 18 minus 12 becomes 6. We then multiply this in, so it becomes s of n equals to, uh, so this is 12 divided by 2, which is 6. And n multiplied by n is n squared. We do our second term, so it's plus. Uh, 6 divided by 2 is 3 and in and that is exactly what they asked for there we go straightforward easy marks so then we come to our last question it says how many consecutive first differences were added to the first term of the quadratic number pattern to obtain a term in the quadratic number pattern that has a value of 221,060 okay this is just asking what is the nth value in our tn so that we get to 21,016 because that's how patterns work right we add now we keep adding so it's how many times are we going to be adding our, our difference onto it until we get to this value so we will go t of n equals to 21 oh 060 and then we can go get our t of n which is over here 6n squared minus 9n so it is 6n squared minus 9n 
equals 21060 and then we just solve for n so 6n squared minus 9n uh, we take this over uh, becomes minus 21060 equals 0 and then we can simplify this a bit we can divide by 3 um, just to make it easy to work with so this will be 2n squared minus 3n and then you can take your calculator out you divide 21060 by 3 and that gives you 7020 equals to 0 uh, you can then factorize or you can use the quadratic equations and so in this nice form so it becomes 2n n oof and yeah, it becomes a little tricky so I would recommend using the quadratic formula uh, or you can factorize which would end up being minus 60 and plus 117 plus one one seven and this term, term over here will give us a fraction so it's not the whole number so we know that n will then be equal to 60 so we only use that one yeah but remember come back to the question that uh, the question asked how many consecutive first difference were added to the first term so our sequence is let's get our sequence again it's minus three 629 so it's minus 3 27 okay so if I asked you how many terms were added to get to 6 you would say one term one term was added right or one first order so we added one number to get from 3 to 6 and if we asked how many, how many were added to get to 27 that would be 2 because we added once and then we added another one. So we took two steps to get us. So this value gave us the 60th number. And to get from the first number to the 60th number, we added 59 additions or 59 first steps, first order differences. So then that means, therefore, our answer is 59 uh, steps or 59 first order differences were added so do you remember you have to tell this to your to your marker or your exam no not exam no, your marker was that's marking your paper we'll say 59 uh, first uh, differences uh, remember you must write out full but I'm not writing exam so uh, first differences must be added must be added whoopsie added okay you know what I'm talking about <laughs> basically a doctor basically you know I'm writing yeah and that's it hope you enjoyed the video good luck on the exam and I hope this helped cheers